This is how wealth transfers upward. Ordinary citizens finance corporate infrastructure without fair exchange or representation. And somehow this seismic theft is considered legal. Let's cast our eyes towards Iowa. Reports show that the state hands out at least 150 million every year to data center tax breaks. Yet many of those projects have uncertain long-term benefits. No one knows if they'll ever yield enough local value to offset the giveaways. Politicians love to sell these projects with the word jobs. Jobs are coming, good paying jobs. So many jobby jobs, 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 jobs. But those jobs rarely materialize. And when they do, they're few and lack the salary that can produce real change for the citizens. Business Insider found that the US data centers typically employ fewer than 150 permanent workers, while public incentives can exceed $2 million per job. Let that sink in. Taxpayers fund corporate campuses where each permanent position cost millions in subsidies, and most of those jobs pay roughly 50 to 60 K a year. Did you catch that? It's tricky and it's hard to notice because it's so brazenly awful. I had to go back and do some research to make sure I was clear on what I thought that meant. And it's far more devastating than it sounds. Thank you.